congratulations hard hitters on an absolutely amazing and phenomenal season. We are so proud of you. I'd love to leave you with some words of wisdom for next season and the wise words of Nancy Lieberman. There's no substitute for hard work. If you work hard and prepare yourself, you might get beat, but you will never lose. Again, congratulations and I wish you all the best for next season. Hello, Austin Hard Hitters. My name is Nicole Macon, and I am a part of the greatest sorority in the land, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And I've heard tons of great things about you, and I wanted to personally congratulate you on a hardworking, competitive season. I, too, play volleyball through junior high, high school, and AAU club ball. And I was able to earn a full scholarship to play as a defensive specialist to the Prairie View A&M University. And I won't say that it'll, it'll be an easy road, but it'll be well worth it. Keep working hard, never stop believing, and go be great, ladies. Hello, Hard Hitter Nation. My name is Dr. Dominique Simmons Carvajal, Dr. Dom for short. I'm a member of the Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, a part of the Mu Beta Sigma alumni chapter here in Brown Rock, Texas. I would like to take this time to say congratulations on a great season. You've persevered, you've overcome, and you've conquered. I want you to remember that individually, you are one drop but together you are an ocean. This is one of my favorite quotes. This quote is from a Japanese author and it reminds me of the importance of sisterhood. Sisterhood is a relationship between sister, you all as teammates. A good solid sisterhood is one of honesty, loyalty, and trustworthiness. A sisterhood can create strong connections that last for ever. You ladies are a unique and beautiful sisterhood. I want you to remember that volleyball helps to connect you, but the sisterhood brings a sense of belonging. So I encourage you continue to thrive together and to do great things. And again, congratulations on an amazing season.
open gym. Um, we're, we're doing open gym right now in Niles and you know, Lance, and she's not giving up and I just absolutely love that about her. I'm gonna say more later, but I just want you know, it's literally uh, 2020 for her to decide that she wants to play a sport. And when she came to me and said, you know, I wanna do first in the softball, then she said, I wanna do volleyball. And I said, okay, well, we'll try it out. And so, gone, she started playing with the Y, and to see her Y skills, to go into, straight into middle school volleyball, and from middle school volleyball to go to her first club, and to see how she's improved, I mean, be trying out soon for high school um, volleyball. So, I'm, I'm so proud of you for doing that. Um, so, Elon. She is a hard worker as well. I don't think I not have not one person on my team that's a hard worker. I know that, you know, continuing to learn throughout the season the different plays and stuff like that, you know, we're the middle blocker, we're the, you know, outside blocker. Those were all the little challenges. You know, I brought my little vest in for y'all to be in position. She had ended up becoming one of my awesome middle blockers. And so I don't want you to give up either. And don't let anybody tell you, especially going into high school, getting ahead of my awards, but I'm not going to say it a lot. But um, so Rachel, once again, was one of my middle school players. She, um, Rachel, I'm not going to even put you on a spot like this, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. Rachel could barely pass. So to see her now is a sight to see. From passing to serving to blocking which at open gym I'm like you know she's once again she can be skilled to a whole nother level and so um, but her spirit her spirit her energy that she gave to this team was absolutely amazing and so Rachel I'm so proud of you y'all say all y'all have a special place in my heart and I'm so proud of you